yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy Frank here from Truth No Chaser. And yes, you have entered another episode of Frankie's Sports Bar, a place we can get your sip on and your weekly dose of sports all in one place. I got my man DJ Agony in the house with me today. What's going uh, on, brother? What's good? What up? What up? What up? Yes, yes, yes. Got my, my special guest host today. We're going to be kicking it with me so we could talk a few things. But before we get into anything, I would like to remind you to follow us on all of our social media outlets. That would be Truth No Chaser on Facebook, Truth No Chaser on YouTube, Truth underscore No underscore Chaser on Instagram, and go to our website at www.thetruthnochaser.com. That's where you can keep up with the latest on all of our, our events, uh, keep up with us in all our fly gear and all of that good stuff. So. With that being said, got that out the way, let's get into it. The first thing right off the bat, I want to talk to you about this asshole, man, Kobe Covington. Man. Kobe Covington out here. So for all you that you might have heard already, but if you don't know, Kobe Covington is a UFC fighter that has used his platform um, for some people for good, but for me and numerous others uh to clout chase people that look like us <laughs> yes sir <laughs> to clout chase and uh he has made the comments um that he is tired of these spineless cowards uh paraphrasing that represent sports um fake woke athletes, fake woke athletes. he's tired of these fake woke athletes put me on man what you think about his comments bro i mean he's he's showing his true colors mm -hmm. he's showing who he is mm -hmm. you know outside of the octagon absolutely that you know hey he he is 45 all the way live <laughs> yeah and the crazy thing about it he's not the most articulate like the person that he represents 45 like you said you know and there's that part but it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy because you can be a trump supporter i don't think that that's our issue mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying right don't for lack of better words let him get you effed up though you understand what i'm saying I mean, don't 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 let him get you beside yourself to where so many have though go ahead speak in, on it in this four years mm -hmm. so many have gotten beside themselves it's like now they could finally be who they want to be right they could wear their hoods there you openly. go there you go you know there you saying? go exactly you know um and uh dave Chappelle said it best he, uh he's like a the accident that we might have needed because mm -hmm. uh his supporters are coming to the forefront with how they felt this entire time in your face mm -hmm. and maybe just reluctant to say it or whatever right exactly. you know but to sit there and call out people calling them spineless cowards and all of this uh this is you know and, and sitting there listening to his post fight interview was like you know what officer friendly are you talking about like yeah people are getting what reality are you living in and, i mean right obviously this don't happen in his neighborhood or yeah what's his, his people's yeah, his, his people company. that look like him no he get a ride home and i get my ass shot yeah <laughs> and, and 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 he says and and see what i have a problem with his comments or anybody else's that that denounces uh athletes that are standing for the better good this is simple bro we are only standing in solidarity we only want you to stand in solidarity with us because we're not equal to you i mean i don't i'm not gonna beg but at the same time i have my views and my opinions respect it i'm not bashing you for yours right. but to call me a spineless coward when there's nothing cowardly or cowardice about me taking and using my platform to take a stand knowing that i'm gonna get no. a barrage of hate whether in the mail or in the stands you understand what i'm saying right. and, so yeah and he comes from that population to where you know it can't just be a difference of opinion mm -hmm. you know i mean i've seen him throw the word terrorists around right and, you know what about 9 11 mm -hmm. i mean do a little more homework on 9 11 you'll see that, your people have more to do with that than us <laughs> but, but you know but, yeah, that goes no. back to 43 i agree i agree i back, agree go back to about 40 41 if you want to get really technical about it another thing that i was uh pissed off that he kept saying the silent majority the silent majority the silent majority he kept, he kept saying that the silent majority is here to stay we're here to stand and this and that blah, blah, blah. but we know what you're talking about when you say that right that was we know who you're referring the, to the, the, same, the si silent the, majority the same battle cry the south will rise again the, yeah oh confederate ass but you know what i'm saying <laughs> but but yeah but anyway man i mean just 
to stay within the same lines you know uh oh before actually before we even move on to him what about you what do you think he about him calling out lebron james specifically he kept mentioning him like you know what that's that's like you said it was clout chasing because yes. now his name is tied to lebron james name right you, you when you, before you, saturday you, i right. never heard of this dude there you go there you go see you and i on the same boat and i know it's a million people that's like us i watch ufc not enough to know every fighter but enough to know the important ones i guess right then he must not have been that important i didn't <laughs> i didn't you know what i'm saying i didn't know him you know until this and i'm, I'm no no we're not alone in that right. and now he's just gaining popularity because when you Google trending topics, you're going to mm-hmm. Google LeBron James. Like you said, his name is going to get tested. His name's going to pop up now. And the bad part is I know Tyron Woodley more than I know him. Right. I know the yeah. guy he beat more than I know you. Right. You <laughs> so, understand? So I'm not – and that's not to say that the dude suck because he may be a good fighter. Yeah, because yeah. as, as a matter of fact, I think he only has two L's. But at the end of the day, we didn't know him. Right. Moving on, but, <laughs> but, but keeping that same – what do you think about racial climate in sports – in its totality like you know just all around like nba trying to get involved with the black lives matter movement nfl allowing players to kneel well nba own nfl owners i should say right because nfl never didn't allow players to kneel the nfl in itself the the owners that was always a judgment call for them right so so what do you think about you know in racism in the end zone all of that stuff and you know what i mean it's it's a good message it's it's a good gesture but it's one of those things, Adam Silver can't stop police brutality. My man. So, but if, if you want to protest, take a knee, take a stand, yeah. don't come out for the national anthem or whatever, he gave him that space. And that yeah. I appreciate him for. Yeah. And I think uh, you had said before, like, what, like, like a piece. Yeah. It was, yeah it's, it's, definitely, it's, it's definitely a, you know, it's a shot of a piece. Man. Right. It's, it's only so much the owners can do. Yeah. The owners can't shut down the police the biggest thing they could do <laughs> the biggest thing they could do is protect the purse the bag oh absolutely you understand what i'm saying I mean, so a, it's a billion dollar a year bag so 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 in in all honesty it would have been in their right choice mm-hmm. to to <laughs> yeah that would be you know say to to, to this, let us have it this was a year so 2020 speak. of of open eyes and mm-hmm. good vision and the civil unrest would have gotten real had they protested against the protesters yeah Civil unrest would have got real, and that boycott that they attempted about five, six years ago, it probably mm-hmm. would have happened this year. Because the, the, the two sports, the, the four major sports in the U.S., those are two of them, mm-hmm. and both of them are eighty-five percent plus African American. T- take us out, and what happens? You got Djokovic playing, <laughs> <laughs> playing Luka Doncic, Luka Doncic <laughs> and that's it. Those are, and that's it. With Przingis coming off the bench. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, yeah, and Caruso. Caruso. <laughs> <laughs> and Caruso. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know, um, it's much needed. We we appreciate the gesture, like you said, but we, you know, we see the plot, right? Like you said, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We know what the bigger protection right. is. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't hold their feet to the fire too much because there's only so much they, they can, can do. do. Yeah, the Dell or Silver, it don't matter. So um, the only thing they cannot do is say something stupid. No. <laughs> don't nah. don't say nothing stupid. You know what I'm saying? But just switching gears, it, it you know, uh, speaking of this weekend, well, speaking of football, this weekend we suffered so many injuries to Yes. Players, major players that were led to believe be the the faces of, you know, what I'm saying this 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 league for a little bit. Right. Nick Bosa, Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley. There were seven ACL tears this weekend. That's seven season-ending injuries. Yeah, what do you think? That's a guaranteed year at the crib. You already know. What do you think that you can attribute that to? The sort of know, injuries. And it's one of those things I used to think that. Preseason was pointless. I used to didn't watch preseason until maybe like the third or the fourth game because mm-hmm. I wanted to see the guys play. I didn't want to see the practice squad play. I didn't want to see the guy that's trying to make the team. Mm-hmm. Even though, ironically enough, I saw an injury in preseason and Russell Wilson was like second, third man up. And and, and the, here we are. The rest was the, the, the rest so of his history. You yeah, can right. See some talent in preseason. So, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I think, but I without, think uh, the, without the preseason, they didn't have. The game speed and the game time. Right, right. There you go. And so it was a lot of bad pivoting, mm-hmm, bad hits, mm-hmm, bad moves, mm-hmm. and lack yeah. of conditioning. Yeah, yeah. I, I think honestly, 
the mini camps take care of the conditioning and stuff like that and the preseason is needed for just to get your feet wet like you're saying mm -hmm. it's needed more for the next man up because we want to see who's talented on a team and who's able to stay around and make a 53 man but uh yeah the the, the, the non-preseason this year definitely i feel definitely hurt you know mm -hmm. a lot of the players around so i don't know really what the solution is we, we need one of us a therapist physical therapist or whatever nah. but we do know that 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 is one of the issues you know what i'm saying so yeah. listen man uh we we gonna be talking a little bit more we can stick around with me for a little bit oh no doubt man i'm here yes sir so we're gonna do a part two we're gonna take a little break and next up we'll be talking about all things cowboys so stay tuned all right peace peace Truth. No chaser.